that there is only one beautiful child in this world fortunately every mother has that child i challenge you to show me someone someone any baby who is ugly in the eyes of the mother no never you see when you have one child you're called a parent but the moment you have more than one you become a referee so you are always you come here sit down why don't you sit down why don't you sleep why do you beat your friend put down that cup so the entire life is dictated by a series of instructions so you become an instruction manual uh, but as a parent if you want to attract your child's attention just try to be busy doing something they will always be all over you and ensure that you abandon whatever you're doing and divert their attention to them basically children are attention seekers uh, by the way when kids suddenly go silent you need to go and check out on them because at this time they're busy spoiling something no they always prefer messing up in silence and by the way this is generally a human nature over the years parents have been very strict disciplinarians until recently when they started befriending their own children under the pretext of showing them love Today parents are so loving that they will wear white gloves and start massaging their fragile kids <laughs> and they call that disciplining them. No. We have now started branding our own kids as unmanageable stock. <laughs> Let's listen to what he has to say. You know what makes me sick to my stomach? When people today say kids have changed. Kids haven't changed. Every generation of kids is the exact same. They're little sponges waiting to be taught what to do. They know nothing about fucking nothing until they're taught something. What's changed is us, the people raising these kids. That's what's changed. We raise kids today without any expectations. We raise kids today without any responsibilities. We demand less of them. We teach them that their opinion matters more than anything else. Today you make your kid something for dinner and your kid goes, I don't want that. What do you do? You go, well, Billy, what would you like? Here's your options. When I was a kid, my parents made something for dinner. If I said, I don't like that, they go, I don't give a fuck. That's the next thing you're going to eat. I don't care if it's tomorrow morning or next week covered in mold. But you're not getting anything until you finish that. And guess what? I fucking eat it. We've created a generation of lazy, entitled little wimps. They think opinions and feelings are worth more than facts. Why? Because of you. Because of me letting them think that. So you don't like how lazy, how entitled, and how fucked up your kid is today? Don't blame them. Look in the mirror. You're the fucking problem. Modern day parenting is more friendly and requires a lot of patience as you explain to your child what you expect from them. You simply need to be calm. This is what is happening. Watch this. Did you eat the chocolate cake? No, mommy. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just cake, Chloe. Cake is so not the point, Dan. This is about honesty and personal responsibility. Fine. Got this. Hey, monkey. Do you remember when we had that talk? In the past, our parents used a parenting style that was more physical than emotional. In fact, we didn't have the luxury of being convinced to do this and leave the other. Parents just wanted us to learn the hard way. And this is what used to happen. <gasps> Don't do that, sweetheart. It's dangerous. No, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> well, go on. <laughs> yeah, but you're not gonna do that again now, are you?